Okay, a new move for us. We're going out of town quite a ways for an off-grid job. And one of the logistical nightmares when you go too far from home is getting all the equipment, not only the solar equipment, but uh, so you don't have to rent. The last time I rented one of those was 2,100 bucks just for the mini. And I'm like, what in the world am I doing? So we got these guys to somehow, sometimes they deliver panels to us. I'm like, hey, I like that trailer. Can you also haul our machine to the job? Because I've got to come go to this job twice. So I'll bring the skid steer on my truck, the post driver on another truck and trailer. And then I'll come back next week and pick up the little mini. And that is perfect. And that saves me probably a day of hauling equipment. So just hire these guys to follow me to the job site. So again, this way I can haul my machine, batteries, whatever other equipment. We got the other truck that's already left loaded up with the driver and all sorts of equipment. So when we hit that job site, that's off grid. We are self-contained, don't need to go get a rental. We know how everything works. And we just start pounding posts when we get there. No time wasted, really digging this. didn't get any of the unloading we had uh three trucks three trailers mini x skid steer post driver all the solar panels ground mount every piece of switch gear we need we are totally off grid up in this location we're gonna put a ground mount here we're gonna power that building got some uh solar renin batteries we are uh just getting to where we're gonna start working we've been unloading and repositioning we got to find i brought septic we got to cross a septic line a power line well a well line and a water line so we're gonna tear some things up let's go okay we want to get our posts done before the end of the day if we get the posts in and the ground mount roughed out on day one after traveling a long ways moving a lot of equipment we're super happy the other thing we're trying to find is a there's a septic line that got to go across twice I stopped and I, I've got things to repair, but um, the customer doesn't know what size pipe it is. Anyway, the excavator will find it. So we hit some serious rocks. So I'm going to sit on these things, pound, see if I can get them in the ground. That is eight and a half feet down. That's kind of my anchor. So we're good. It's going to be an awesome sight. It's going to be a, just an awesome, awesome solar window. This is not what you should be doing. I've been just killing my machine on rock and I've got down to this last section and it's horrible. Okay, end of day two. We are ready for our trench inspection. I probably spent two hours in this section. Unbelievable rock. Just beat the crap. I mean, sorry, excuse my language. Beat the tar out of my mini X. And then, uh, we're all the way up and plumbed into the house, piped into the house. And so we've got a lot of things half started. <laughs> Tomorrow's Friday. We're going to hopefully get an inspection, panel this array, wire it up. Inverters mount will be mounted. We'll be back next week. It'll take us two days and we'll have her wrapped. It's a wonderful spot. He's going to have all sorts of power graded out he had a steep step up to this plateau we just made that just kind of smoothed it out make it look a lot nicer than it did good drainage now away from his building and we'll get this thing paneled in the morning but man the trench was a killer today but we didn't we had to cross the septic twice a water line, a well power line, and we found everything before we tore it out. So that's a good day. Okay, and then we ran, everything's run up to that outdoor panel, and we're going to put a bypass, which is going to serve us as a disconnect. Again, everything's off-grid here. There's no utility. 
So we're going to use a double pull, double throw, disconnect. That will shut power off to everything, and he can lock it if he wishes. So, all right, we're going to feed the guys, get to town, and I think they've had enough baking for today. Oh, but we made progress. Might not look like it, because it's mostly underground. Got our outdoor gutter perpendicular with our indoor gutter. And then we'll build the battery bank. We'll be in business tomorrow. See you then. Day three, wrap up on the array. Got everything graded out nicely. Trench is backfilled to this point. I gotta just continue on and backfill everything. But it's looking nice, nice spot. I got Elijah on fall break for a couple of days. So nice to have some help from little engineer 775. Anyway, we're hopefully getting an inspection here in an hour. Gonna load up and uh, what a wonderful off-grid location this has been. This is just a really nice spot. Really in enjoying this job. We always enjoy the off-grid jobs. So if you want to go off-grid, we'd be happy to do it for you. I think this project started quite a few years ago, but he's never had power like he's got today. So good feeling. Ah, watch out. But Elijah, he just installed the Starlink on the site. He's been doing a lot of the Starlinks and we got her wired into the house. And uh, Wes is working on wire management for the array. Willis is working on generator. And I'm just the lackey that runs for tools today, I guess. All right, we're wrapping this up. Nice little off-grid 15K, EMP hardened. We hooked up Starlink for the customer. So he's good there. Renin battery, the Extreme LV. He's got six modules, 30 kilowatt hours of storage. And we gotta do some labeling. We've got the inspector coming here shortly. Doing a little generator testing first. We have the ability to run the whole place on a Jenny or charge batteries through the solar arc. We've got our standard bypass switch where we can have the place run on generator or solar or both. This outdoor panel was here. We just uh, integrated it in. We added some extra conduits for the customer. We added one that's stubbed up right there so that they can get power over to another building and didn't have to go through the, our landmines. And we put another conduit in for this building. So that's going to be fun. But he's got somebody else to do that. And we added ground rods. We didn't have any ground rods here. So we've got our two ground rods. And we are doing some things like making sure our conduits and great stuff in places that need to be sealed up. And sun's just coming over the mountain he's got a really good western exposure and uh he's got 19 kilowatts of solar he's got plenty what a nice spot okay we're just finishing up waiting on the inspector getting loaded up testing testing generators those kinds of things on the last day and we're off to the next job Okay, so the inspector is going to get back to me, but they're basically saying this is an obstruction. The gutter is an obstruction. We have the 36 inch clearance from the panel. However, we need to be 15 inches off this panel for our inverter. So we might have to just cut out the drywall, go in the wall with all our conductors, strap the battery cables down low to the wall, and bring them up in the gutter. We don't want to go too far. We're going to get into this water heater. So I just want to meet the minimum on the inverter coming over there. So we could reuse, probably can't reuse this gutter. It's going to be, we need to get another four inch, in order to four foot gutter, don't forget the end caps because we butchered, the, those are Swiss cheesed. But in order to start 15, Unless I move the inverter all the way down. So we'll just bring another four foot gutter to fix that. That's not a big deal. 
Um, and then outside, I'm still waiting on an answer because that panel that was here is also, uh, he questioned the obstruction on that. So could be making an example of it. So here we go. Then they're going to get really nitpicky and look for any type of violation. Hopefully not. <laughs> Elijah has it really rough. Look at his work truck. <laughs> real, real rough having that. <laughs> Brat. Okay, we're wrapping this up for the second time. We failed an inspection, um, which is not normal for us. We just, the inspector here did not want any obstacles in front of that panel. And so 2020 NEC code, you can have six inches. We had our normal 12 foot gutter in the way. So we ended up kicking the in, uh, inverter and gutter down and EMTing over to stay under six inches away from the wall. That's why you see these patches where we had to fix our entry points. So the other thing we, I wanted to come up here, he, we added an EV charger. So my wife and I used it as an excuse to go take a nice drive in the mountains and we brought the Tycon, which we needed to charge it up. The mountains will burn up the battery. But we went four wheeling to get up here. Good thing this is all wheel drive because it's quite a muddy hill to get up here. So we use, using the, hardwired charge point we're pulling 12 kw i'm not 12 10. let me show you again using the renin extreme lvs we have turned the solar well, we turned it back on so we are uh again it's off grid we're pulling right around 10 kw charging the car just using a battery he hasn't run enough load to get the battery discharged so he wanted to see that so i said we can handle that We'll charge it with the car. I mean, we'll charge the car and drop that battery. So anyway, we're wrapping up. If you have any questions, we love to do off-grid jobs, actually. They're very challenging, but they're fun. And uh, we did everything we added. We installed Starlink for the customer. We installed the EV charger for the customer. We installed generator inlets. We actually installed extra conduits for future um, buildings for him. We, we have a conduit in the ground for his electrician to put power on that barn. And we stubbed up another conduit to take power around to a shop. And our 19 kilowatt hour array is down there. So fully off grid, running everything. So we're pretty happy. Hated that we had a code violation so that we had to come back. And that can be expensive because it's uh, three hours from home. Got to come back, new equipment, blah, blah, blah. And then try to get the inspector to, he canceled on us yesterday due to the weather. And so we're waiting on him. He's on a two hour lunch break. Wait, bay. But anyhow, this is Engineer 775 signing off from a nice off grid job with all the accessories needed. Uh, we really like adding EV chargers for folks that have their own off-grid system. It, it's a dump load that allows you to take full advantage of that much solar and uh, have free transportation. So well, let me know what you think. Let me know if we can help. This is Engineer 775 signing out.